I get a lot of comments asking me what the radiation levels are in this room, and people often ask me if I can test it with a Geiger counter. Thankfully, I do have a Geiger counter that we can test it with. This is a digital GMC 500 plus unit that was made by the GQ company. And typically the background reading in my house ranges anywhere from 15 counts per minute to about 28 counts per minute. And as you can see, in this room, which I lovingly call the uranium room, we are reading at about normal levels right here in the middle. Now, if I were to move closer to the table, the reading might be slightly affected, if at all. In fact, I usually have to put the Geiger counter right on top of the glassware in order to see any kind of spike in the reading. If this were radioactive red pottery or fiesta ware, then that would be a different case. I can typically pick up a reading within a few feet of a radioactive red piece, but with the uranium glass, the particles aren't traveling very far and they're not very strong unless ingested, so overall, it's pretty safe to collect. Now let's take the Geiger counter away from the glassware and wait a minute or two for the reading to go back to normal. Then I'll try putting it up against the glass of the curio to see if there's any kind of elevation in reading. It does take a minute or two for the Geiger counter to level back out and realize that it's not being bombarded by radioactive particles anymore. So let's just wait another minute and let it get back to normal. All right, we're just about back at normal background levels. So let's press it up against the glass of the curio and see if there's any change. Not too bad. Now let's open up the curio and see how the reading changes. This curio cabinet is primarily filled with regular uranium glass, no Vaseline glass. So let's see how it does with the Geiger counter. I'm gonna set it here on this shelf and give it a few minutes to calculate. So far, it's not doing too bad, and I absolutely love this bowl made by the Northwood Glass Company. And the figural flower frog that's sitting inside of it was made by the Cambridge Glass Company. Now, I think it's time for us to check out the curio cabinet that's filled with Vaseline glass. We're definitely going to need to give the Geiger counter another minute to calm down. Remember, it can take a minute or two for it to register that it's no longer in contact with the radioactive source, so give me a minute to get it back to its regular background reading. Now, Vaseline glass tends to be a bit more spicy than regular uranium glass, and that's because a lot of it was made prior to World War II with natural uranium instead of depleted uranium, which is used in most modern uranium glass pieces. Now let's get a reading of the inside of the Vaseline glass cabinet. There's no doubt that we are definitely seeing an elevation in the reading. But I'd have to say that based on the readings presented by the Geiger counter, the uranium glass isn't causing me much to worry about. But of course it's up to everyone's individual comfort level whether or not they want to collect it or even be around it. But I'm going to let this thing cool down one last time and take a few more laps around the room just to make sure that everything is looking good. I'd have to say that everything seems to be all right here, and I think I'm gonna keep collecting my uranium glass. Thanks so much for watching, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.